There was a report this morning from Ming-Chi Kuo of a new keyboard being developed for Apple's new MacBooks or upcoming MacBooks. And I mean, this is something we've been waiting for for a really long time. For the past four years, we've been dealing with janky keyboards from Apple on their MacBook lineup. And to hear this was just like, it was big news for me. So what this keyboard is, it's a shift back to the original style of keyboard switch. In 2015, they introduced their new switch, the butterfly mechanism, and we've seen it pan out over the past few years. It is not a particularly reliable design. They're on their fourth iteration or something like that. But this new rumored switch uses that traditional scissor mechanism. So the way this thing works is it uses two pieces that interlock to make this scissor-like mechanism. But what makes this Apple variant special or unique is the material that they're using to develop this. Instead of using like a traditional regular plastic, they're using a glass fiber material. Supposedly. Now they've used this material before. When they originally announced the butterfly mechanism in 2015, you can see that they've used glass reinforced plastics before. And the reason why they use this stuff is for strength, right? You're able to make these components thinner and smaller while retaining strength. So these new scissor switches should be able to be a lot thinner than your traditional scissor switch while also being quite durable. When Apple switched over to the butterfly switches originally in 2015 and 16, the main reason why they did it was not just to be different, they did it because the butterfly switches allowed their MacBooks to just be a little bit thinner. They probably shaved one or two millimeters off the total Z height, like the, the vertical height of the device, so they could make thinner laptops. But the issues that have popped up in light of using that butterfly switch have, I mean, there's lots of them, to the point where they now have a keyboard replacement program that covers the entire MacBook lineup for the past four years, and it's gonna cost them quite a bit of money. So if the supply chain report is true, that's great. We're gonna see some new keyboards in the upcoming MacBooks, which will hopefully be more reliable and more durable than the existing ones. But I find it more interesting that they're switching back I use the word switch, but they're, they're switching back to a more traditional switch. It's like they built up this whole marketing hype and they had some cool videos to showcase how these switches work and why they're better than your traditional scissor switch. But it's weird and just interesting that four and a half or five years later, they go back to the more tried and tested design, the scissor switch. It's cool that Apple is essentially recognizing faults here, admitting that what they built four and a half, five years ago is not an ideal keyword because clearly there's stuff that's wrong with it. Now, in terms of the devices that are getting this new keyboard, Ming-Chi Kuo mentions that the first device to get this will be the upcoming 2019 MacBook Air. Now, interestingly, that was a device that just got a redesign last year. And this report is saying that these new keyboards should appear in this 2019 variant. And I don't think they'll be changing the design of that newly redesigned MacBook Air, right? So that means that these new keyboards, these new scissor switch keyboards should be able to fit into the existing MacBook Air chassis. Now granted, that's not a super thin MacBook, but the fact that they don't have to redesign an entire new chassis to house these new keyboards is, I mean, it's cool. Like maybe, this is just maybe, but maybe they would be able to take those new keyboards and retrofit the existing MacBook Pros with them, like in the keyboard replacement program. Who knows? But the idea of a new keyboard is really cool. Now, one thing to note, this is a rumor, right? Ming-Chi Kuo is usually pretty accurate with this stuff, but there's no way for me to judge the validity or accuracy of this. There was one thing about this report that kind of made it seem questionable. It was the fact that this new keyboard wasn't mentioned along with the 16 inch MacBook Pro. Like that's supposedly going to have a regular butterfly switch, maybe. I don't know, like this is all just rumored material, but I mean, this is this is great news. And I love the fact that Apple is addressing this, like they had to do this. This was eventually gonna happen and I'm glad that it's happening now. But despite all this praise and happiness that I have about these upcoming keyboards, there's still part of me that's like, I'm surprised they took this long. They let a product line ride for four years. Like there's so many MacBooks out there, MacBook Pros out there with just bad keyboards that they can't really do anything about. But the other thing is that they claimed only a small number of users were actually having issues with the existing MacBook keyboards, which is honestly, like that sounds really misleading. Cause if that were the case, if it was only just a limited number of people with problems with those MacBook keyboards, number one, we wouldn't see a keyboard replacement program as extensive as it is right now. And secondly, they wouldn't be switching to a new style of keyboard switch. Like if that old one was so good, why switch, right? Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.